Tay, come and tell the latest news. I'm on the sofa all day, but the period has just came. This is the good stuff. This is the same one that my friend had successful IVF with. This is the powder. You have to basically get these two syringes and needle them into that. 100% confident. <laughs> You have 21 eggs in there. Like this. We've had a couple of tests and my test was positive. Right before the retrieval. Gonna delay it by a week. But I can't wait, I need to know how many eggs were wow, frozen. Just stay in the line, I will pass you to the doctor, okay? Okay, here we go. Hello there. Hi, how are you? We had... Mm. Okay guys, so Tay's been taking the pill for the last three weeks. She stopped that today. She's then gonna bring on her period in the next three, four or five days. We found out that the reason that we're not getting pregnant is for certain my sperm not Tay in any way. My last sperm result three weeks ago was absolutely shocking. It was like 2% chance of what was needed, which should have been 30%. Even if you have sperm and it's moving, it still has to go up to be able to get pregnant into an egg. We'll go for this scan. We'll go over it in a little bit of detail because it's really, really interesting for us to know. Taylor's mum's here today. Oh, to... Okay, so you finished pills yesterday? Yes, last yeah. night, yeah. How did you feel? All good, ready to go. <laughs> so today I'm going to do a scan to check the uterus and especially the ovaries to see how many possible follicles we are going to develop. Is that for when you did the egg retrieval? Exactly. So let's do the scan. Okay. And we are going to see the right ovary. This is small cycle. These are the follicles. Mm -hmm. This ovary is okay. Two, three, four, five, maybe six. It's a good number to develop. This ovary is ready to be stimulated. Now let's go to the left ovary. This one we have six to be stimulated. And how yeah. many do you like to get when you do the egg retrieval? Five per ovary. So all together ten. ten. Very good. So we are Great. ready. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the medication. Here you are going to see the powder. Two syringes exactly like this with the same amount of liquid. And you are going to find here one needle and put the needle in here. Then put the needle here inside the bottle and then push all the water inside and you are going to have here 225 units use the syringe when you are sitting like that sitting just okay. in the stomach put this inside and then push all the liquid in is there a certain time of the day that i should have them after 7 pm okay the day two of your cycle if all goes as we plan, when would you expect that we would do the egg retrieval and all of that? Egg collection. Yeah. On the 20th. So then the embryo transfer about five days after that? If we have, for example, 10 eggs, we're going to use each egg with one sperm. And in this way, we're going to have more fertilization. That's it. Thank really you so much. Thank you, Dr. Benito. Okay, Taylor, it will be 13th. Yeah. Okay, if something changes, I will let you know. So, in 11, Perfect. 13th or at 11. As soon as you start the period, you send me the message yeah. and I talk to the doctor. Any problems that you have with the injection, you can no, have fine. them done here. So, the blood test now, what's that one mm -hmm. for? This is for the doctor also to confirm the medication. Okay. okay. He always does this analysis before starting the stimulation. Okay. okay. We should have this result this afternoon. As soon as the doctor has the result, we will let you know. Questions at this point? Are you sure? No. Thanks for your help. Us. Uh, you're yeah. welcome. Yeah have the final blood test before the medication. This is to check what my levels are at currently so they can see the rise in the medication and also to make sure I'm actually okay for this medication. They're gonna give me the results this afternoon. Very smooth running that was. When did you start though? Second day of period, which is estimated probably Friday okay. for five days and then a scan on Monday. And that's it. Keep you posted. Guys, if you are not already following me on Instagram, I'm a lot more active on there than I am on YouTube. Trying to be more active and get more regular with my videos over here on YouTube, but yeah. If you aren't following me already on Instagram, make sure you do. I do daily vlogs, I do makeup hauls. I also share a lot more in depth of my fertility journey on there, like my daily journey. So head over there now if you're not following me already. Thank you.
If you haven't already checked it out, I now have my own website, which is tayblue.com, where every single thing that I'm recommending through Instagram, whether it be beauty, home buys, fashion buys, stuff to aid fertility, it's all on there, it's all linkable, and you can basically just shop very, very simply through the website without going through a gazillion Instagram highlights. Hey, come and tell the latest news. Just mind the way I look right now. I've been on the sofa all day, but the period has just came. I'm just trying to hide my nipples because I've not got a bra on. Also got greasy hair. But yeah, I could feel it, couldn't I? I've had a really bad night's sleep the last three days. Night terrors, restless, uncomfortable, aggy. And today I just said to Jack, I just know I'm gonna come on my period because I can feel it in my legs and everything. I could tell. And I did just slam the fridge. <laughs> Quite like um, going out for a long walk. <laughs> but it's here now. So now we start the medication tomorrow. I need to go and get that actually. You should um, probably go and get that. We'll start taking that tomorrow and then... We've got a scan on Monday. I'm actually very grateful that it's arrived now. So let's wonder if the scan will happen on Sunday now. I'm just wondering what I look like. <laughs> this foot here look absolutely fine. Happy days! Okay guys, it is Friday the 10th. We picked up the prescription this morning. Woo. We are really excited. We and are really excited, but we're knackered. We're knackered. We've had what? a big day, but we woke up very excited. And now I actually have no energy because I've been sleeping really bad. So I'm looking forward to having this injection and then I'm probably gonna fall asleep watching the violin. But I'm very excited to get this first one done. How you been feeling the last couple of days? Obviously Taylor came off the pill. I came off it on Monday night. My last pill was on the 5th and then it came on on the Thursday. It's happened quite quickly really. I'm not bothered about the injection at all. I'm slightly apprehensive about how the medication could make me feel. So we have to take the injection after 7. We're going to go for 8 o'clock. Yeah. And then we'll be doing that for Saturday, Sunday. And we have a meeting on Monday. Shall we go for it? Yeah, let's go and get it out of the fridge and show people what we've got. Feeling extremely confident with with this like it's going to happen but i've just got a good feeling which is scary to say you can see that i've just stripped naked <laughs> i don't know what it is to be honest i just do feel quite confident in this 60 percent chance this is the good stuff for any fellow ivfers this is menopause and this is the same one that my friend had successful ivf with she said that she got the best embryos with this i'm gonna do a little unboxing guys i thought we all agreed that when you had your toys out you're gonna put them back it's not for you guys. But can you just, thank you. We did have to go to a few different pharmacies to get this. Some are like seven to 10 days to get this. So if you are doing this, make sure you get it early. We got one that had next day delivery, 350 euros. So this is a whole box of needles. He said to use a different needle every day. Guys, honestly, you're gonna bite me. <laughs> ah, nasty, nasty boy. So this is the powder. We have to basically get these two syringes and needle them into that. It will dissolve yep. by itself. 100% confident. <laughs> get the dog out of the way because the needle, because if he comes near me, <laughs> I'm going to be stimulating his non-existent <laughs> eggs. We're going to make a very cute, cute dog. There we go. Putting the liquid into... Powder. And the same for the other one, basically. But assume you don't do that yet. You wait until you need that one. I thought you said to put it all in, then keep it in the fridge. <laughs> do you want me to watch the video back? See what you said. You can, but I'm very confident. Yeah, that worries me. I'm not going to be getting this wrong. Trust me. I want them babies. I want them now. What's wrong with you? Don't have a baby. I'm your baby. Just checking I pluck my snail trail. <laughs> Okay, um, Why are you so freaking <laughs> out? I just don't want you to spill anything because I'm panicking here. Pop two, two, five. Do you want me to check? Shall we pop that back in and see if there's a clear... Are you allowed to keep popping it back in and out? <laughs> Get your phone and put syringe measurement dial. The line, the line that's on the scale oh. of your barrel with this top part of the... My battery's died. Get my phone then. Set the top part. Right. The top part. Do you want to even go same with you? Not the bevel part, the top part. Not the top part, the bevel part. So that's the bottom? Fine. This is where you cannot touch the needle. I'm not stupid. Okay, make sure it all goes in. Oh, that stings a little bit. I'm blacking out! <laughs> <laughs> we may sound like we're really flapping a bit, but... We are. Like, yeah. <laughs> So that's injection one done. So we've got to do them tonight, which is Friday, Saturday night, Sunday night, which is number three, in for a scan on Monday to see how we're measuring. 
holy grail. I love you, kid. Yeah, so that's it done now. That's all we have to do. No tablets, there's no supplements. And this that's is to help grow the eggs. To stimulate them so that they're big, juicy, ripe for the egg retrieval. So if Google's correct, I think you do this for about five to eight days, depending on obviously what size your eggs get to. And then after your egg retrieval, it can only be like a few days until you actually then go from egg retrieval to embryo transfer. So it goes quite quickly. This bit's already gone quite quickly, hasn't it? Yeah. Monday he'll decide based on what he can see on the scan should we be going for more medication should we increase the injections or does it look like they're growing too fast and should we decrease them i personally think that i'm going to stimulate a lot so yeah all done okay guys it is that time again 8 30 saturday night this one is going to be straight in just so you know i didn't wear this outfit out each time you come right next to me bud and we said in line with the bottom didn't we why's that come back up you've not got any air in it have you did we say that the line's gonna be? Oh no, <laughs> Not this I don't one. remember that line. Yeah, the top yeah. line is two two five. Come check the YouTube video out again and check. Okay. Don't. Does it look like a bubble in there? That sounds really dangerous. Does it? Do you want me to put it back in? Yeah, I would. He didn't say consciously, like, make sure there's no air uh, bubbles, did he? So I'm just going to go with it. Okay. So, I've got to sit down to get that roll, you know. It's just a bit of belly high. <laughs> Ooh. Why did that hurt so much? Got really stung, I don't know why. Okay. Well done. I don't know whether, whether it was where I put it in my stomach or what. Yeah, it maybe it went into muscle. You know, you got a bit of muscle there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I actually can take Well into your six pack. Hitting them damn abs again. <laughs> well done. Really impressive that. No, Side no. effects, how are you feeling after you oh, took yes. that? Oh yes. Yesterday, after about 45 minutes an hour, I had a little bit of a headache. Also, felt a little bit nauseous isn't the word, but you know when you're just not feeling well and your skin aches a little bit? I felt like that on a scale of 1 to 10, 5 or 6. I definitely could feel something was different compared to how I felt before I took the injection. This is what I said on my Instagram today. If you are about to start IVF or starting in the next few months, or just as a note for the future, I would say do your injection as late as possible, like minimum half eight. Like do it as close to your bedtime as possible because when you go to sleep, you're not gonna feel it. And I woke up this morning and felt completely normal. Someone did say to me today, to be fair, the injections do get harder as you go on. Something to do with the hormones and pain and... But you know what? It's all gonna be worth it, so who cares? And we went and pushed some push chairs around. Yeah, we're gonna go film. Yeah. We'll show you, the next clip will be as No, but let's just <laughs> say, we went round a, a, a shopping mall today in Marbella. We've never done this before. We went into the little baby section and we just took one that was off the hook. And I said to Jack, let's have a little walk around. And it was so fun. We're and it made you feel like, oh my God, this could actually be really real. We look like, like bottle sterilizers and dummies and like little egg holders and stuff. And we were like, oh my God, this could actually be our life, which would be so crazy. Welcome back guys. Day three, Sunday, same time again, 8.30. I'd say today I feel heightened emotions and tired. No pains, no nausea. I've even had a nap today and I never nap, do I? No. Never. I've been watching This Is Us and I mean that's emotional anyway, but I feel like I could just cry at anything. There's obviously a lot of hormones going about. So this is our third injection. Yep. Scam tomorrow, obsessed. which is very exciting. Is it the top one or the bottom one? <laughs> Why have I forgot? <laughs> I just said we've mastered it. Bottom. Yeah, that's it at the bottom. Try and get a bit of that. Buddy. That's fine. Yeah, absolutely smash Ooh, it. Oh, stings. I need a little bit. Okay. That's it. So tomorrow we have a scan and they will keep us posted on whether we need to up the dosage or whether we continue as we are. I'd say that's enough for one more. So, see you at the scan tomorrow, guys. Well done, Taylor. Here we are, Hotel Saran. No, hospital. <laughs> Very excited today. See you the Hola. What time did you do? Half eight every night, 8.30. And do you feel any pain? Not really. I would say a little bit more tired than usual, that's all. The period? Yeah, it only lasted like maybe two days. Only two days, <laughs> yes. It's because of the medication. Yeah, you know? I thought it might be yes. that. Let's just come today. Yeah. 
my blood test results come back out, they go okay? Yeah, the last one was really good. Oh, amazing. Yes, it was 34. And that's good. And were my blood tests okay? I have blood tests. Uh, yes, I have the results. Fantastic, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, well, Okay. So the red cells a little below, the hemoglobin is normal, hematocrit normal, leukocytes a little bit low, but the rest is normal. Your blue group is zero positive, which is normal, kidney function is normal, the liver is a little bit high. Do you drink? It's <laughs> charged, that's me. Is there anything that I can take to assist or is it literally just stop alcohol? It's better to stop. This is the best medication. If you stop, the liver starts to function again. Thank you for that. We are going to see how many. How many would you expect? Minimum five. But if you have eight or ten, that will be the best. Here we have the right over. These are the follicles. Six and one more here, seven. Wow. And the ovary is looking really very good. You see the left ovary as well? Five plus two times. This is one. So you are doing fantastic. Mm. Wednesday be here in the afternoon around six thirty. Just wondering if everything keeps going as it is, when would you expect that I would have the egg retrieval? Next morning, twentieth. Wow. Exciting. Yeah. Okay. Wait for a blood test now. And the nurse is going to take your blood. Thank you. Thank I'll you. see you on Wednesday. Okay, so it is Wednesday, six o'clock, ready for the scan. I've got a bit of anxiety at the minute. I'm feeling a little bit tense, a little bit anxious, a bit panicky. Other than that, not too bad. A little bit weak, but no symptoms really. So I'm just gonna go see the follicles have grown. And the biggest one two days ago was 12. My prediction might be at about 16. I think 18. That's pushing it. That means we'll have the retrieval in the next two days. I think it's gonna come quick. I'm really excited. I personally think we'll have the egg retrieval by Sunday. So Ready to go okay. in? Okay. Let's do it. The level of the estuary onwards is pretty good. 422. Is that good? Oh. Absolutely good. Because at the beginning it was 34. Wow, and that's worth a lot. Today we are going to do a scan. Yeah. And then the blood analysis. Again. Again, to see increasing the level of estuary. This is the uterus. This is the line. It looks thick. You can see one, two, three lines. Cervical canal start to open a little bit. That's why you feel a little bit wet. Yeah. The cervix mm -hmm. produce mucus. This is the biggest one here. Yeah. 17. Wow. Wow. Yes. It's a big one, sir. Yes. What, what's the biggest one on this one? On this one was 14. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to give you this. You have 225 plus 1, and tomorrow 225 plus 1. Yeah. This is to give more maturity to the eggs. One thing I wanted to ask, on a July the 10th, we were hoping to go back to the UK. By that time, we'll know whether it worked or not. Is there anything against flying? Let's say it works. Are we able to fly back to the UK? No problem. Thank you so much. Excuse the unironed shirt, just got it out of the bag. It is Friday the 17th. This is our second but last scan before egg retrieval. Just check the follicles. Last time we were here was two days ago. Coming back in tomorrow as well. They have to be a certain length before they do the egg retrieval, so that's what they're checking on. So I'll go and have a scan now, and then I'll have a blood test. Did you have Yes. 225 of the normal, and then the new one, the whole thing, okay. two days. And did you feel any down here. Yeah, a little bit, but nothing yeah. too much. Yeah. Today, the level of the stadium is really fantastic. Yay! As I told you before, the first one was 422. Last one was 1000. Wow! <laughs> so that means that it's increasing very well and it's more than I expected which means that the medication is giving a good effect over the follicles. Yeah. So maybe the number of follicles are going to be 
more, mm -hmm. which is good. Maybe I can collect more than 15. Wow, that would be good. A lot. Inside the follicle, then there's eggs. How many normally are in the follicles? One. Just one? One, one in each? Oh, I wow. thought that inside the follicle there could be 10 eggs. No. <laughs> yeah. We thought we were going to have 2,000 eggs. <laughs> Because some people can overstimulate and they have too many and then they have to stop. For you, it's not a problem. If I have 20 eggs, I'm going to use 10 and 10 are going to be frozen mm -hmm. without fertilization. We might have to freeze some of them, wait a month. This is to avoid hyperstimulation. Okay. Okay. It looks much thicker. Yes, today is 9.9 .9 dashboard. Now, let's go to the right over here. Many, many. <laughs> many more. How so, many was that? Minimum 8. It's more than normal. This is on your right side. Now, let's go <coughs> to the left side. Come on, the left side. Not too many. This has a lot. Too many. Oh. Uh, almost 20. Okay. So as you can see, we have a lot. So today, I am going to know the level of the extra beer with the blood uh -huh. And I need to see you tomorrow, around 11 30. Tomorrow is going to be the last start. Based on what you've seen today, you think that we'll probably have to wait a month? I think that we have to wait. <laughs> You're really disappointed at <laughs> <in> that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit yeah, sad. This happens. I love this because you know what is going on every single day. Is it better to have more follicles in the long run? It's better for you. Okay, perfect. Oh, Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. See you at half eleven. Yes. This is the information for the doctor, any allergies, any relevant information. The more information we have, the better is the process. Any medication, any pain. I probably need to weigh myself. Uh -huh. I think you said what you want. What's my height? Five foot four. Mm -hmm. I've got no allergies. Okay. Okay, so Implant removal. This is quite meticulous. It's good, you know, because we have really detailed information about the patients. So. Blood transfusions, no. Mm -hmm. It is still mandatory for the patient to do the antigen test for COVID, the lateral flow, okay? Yep. What's your important? On things. We will do the egg collection on Monday at 10 o'clock. How but long does it take? Half an hour. It's not complicated, the doctor is very delicate. After the egg collection, you will stay in the room in the recovery about one hour because we need to see that the, the sedation is going on. You need to come fasting. So on Sunday, yep. light supper. The latest time to eat on the Sunday. Night. I think that 11 p.m. okay. Thank you so much. Very very organized. Organized. Okay, it is Saturday, 11.38 a.m. Final Hello. scan. Excited? Yeah. How are you Hi. feeling today? Tired. Tired. Bloated. Bloated. And also, just feel like it's not really that exciting now that you're not getting the transfer. But less exciting, right? A little bit. Obviously, we're having the retrieval quite a while away from the transfer. Mm. Have not really worked for a shit either. Hungry. Hungry. Hello! Good morning! Okay, how did you feel? Very bloated and a bit tired. But other than that, okay. This is the normal process because of the ovaries are... Expanding, yeah. Uh, yesterday you did two injections. Yeah. Yes, okay. 75. Of the menopause and then the whole one. Yeah. Hopefully no more! <laughs> oh, good. You see the lining? Yeah. It's good, but... With the injection, is going to be bad. Yeah. The last injection today. Now it's perfect. Okay. It's a beautiful picture. Wow, that big. A good number of eggs and the sizes are really very big. So how many was on that side all together? Nine. Nine. Does it matter that they're all different sizes when you extract mm -hmm. them? Mm -hmm. I am going to aspirate all of them. I don't mind size. Twelve. Oh, <laughs> 21 in total. You're a good chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know the quality of the egg until it comes out? Yeah. 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 What quality is acceptable to put in? Is it graded on like A, B, C, D? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Embryos were going to grade A, B, C, D, E. Even if they make an E, do they go in the freezer? But if they're an F, they don't go in the freezer? Normally, we freeze only A, B, C, and C. You just need one really good one from the 10. Unless there's anything like your school grades, D's and E's. <laughs> So by Saturday, would we know what quality eggs we've got? Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, isn't it, it is, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to give you this and this. 
This is ready to be used. This one today, 6.30. Is this what they call the trigger shot? Yes, yeah. This is the trigger injection. This is the most important injection. You have to do it at 10.30 tonight. Yeah. And so what do they do? To complete the maturity of the eggs, avoid follicles break. Tomorrow, no injection. Yay! <laughs> and this year, on day 9, yes, yeah. exactly, that's better. Okay, so guys, it is now Saturday at 10.30. It is Taylor's last injection of this process so far. I've got chocolate croissant down my top from his mouth. <laughs> Sweets and takeaways to celebrate. And so far, you've absolutely smashed all of the injections. Yeah, I haven't felt very well tonight. But this is the very last injection of this whole IVF cycle, as we know it. And this is the trigger shot. So this is going to trigger me for them to be able to collect the eggs. An egg retrieval all day, which is Monday. It's one for half six and one for half ten. Half six was to help the eggs mature and to stop them breaking. Like I said, this is the trigger shot. As you can see, there's quite a lot. It's a big one. This is quite a monumental moment of the whole yeah. process. Didn't really want to get on camera right now because I mean, stay with me. <laughs> Look away if you don't like needles. Apparently, if you lean forward, it stops the hurt so much. I like to put it in slowly in case it like makes me feel weird, do you know what I mean? What a lovely feeling to know this is my last one. Ooh. For the first time tonight I had some nausea and I had heartburn. Done. Look at that, absolute master. That was the last one, woo! Fantastic. And do you know what, just a few final words, I'm actually very excited. Not necessarily to have a break because you'll know by now that we have got to do a freeze and then come back to it about 20 days later than what we expected. So we'll actually be doing the transfer, not next week, but in a few weeks time. I'm actually very excited to have a few weeks off any medication because it's been what, like nine days or something mm. now, Jack? Injections every day, sometimes twice a day, especially in the last four days. Before that, I was on the contraceptive pill, which I've never been on in my life. Before that, we were on antibiotics. I know they don't really make a difference, but my body's been very medicated, different. Me and Jack are the kind of people who don't even take like Norofem, really. So yeah, it's gonna be a very nice feeling. Like this is literally what I'm working with. You have 21 eggs in there. Like this. This isn't even, this is yeah. just. That wasn't there last week. Well, a little bit. <laughs> You know what? The feeling is, you just have the biggest roast dinner of your whole entire life. Three different meats, Yorkshire pudding, supersized. You know how you feel after that, you're like, oh, I have to lie down. That's how you feel every single minute of the day. <laughs> but a lot of people have also said that it's quite good and it's quite nice for your body to have a rest and then to put an embryo in when your body is kind of reset. So we're done yeah. now. Good morning guys, so it is Monday the 20th of June. It is egg retrieval day, it's finally here. Very, very exciting. About 10 minutes time we're gonna go to the hospital. A few things are gonna happen. I'm gonna have to go into a room and provide my sample. The main thing is obviously Tay. So the egg retrieval, I don't know whether she's going to have general anaesthetic or local anaesthetic. I believe they said local anaesthetic. Going to take around 20 to 30 minutes. A lot of the process process we've filmed it it's all been in the hospitals and it's been the appointments it couldn't have gone I would say any better in terms of Taylor having the hormonal injections we've heard stories of how they would massively affect you from friends from people have taken these kind of things Taylor's sort of like been absolutely unreal with this literally just injecting them herself decent sized needles with liquid no problem straight after there's been no sort of like side effects pretty much handled to perfection so obviously she has been tired she has felt not 100% herself it's gone quick as well I remember when we did IUI but every day just seemed to go really really slowly whereas Taylor's has been taking the injections now for like nine days that's just gone quick we go into the meetings, I sort of understand it, whereas Taylor Lo understands it, obviously, because it's her body, a lot more, and she's been reading up onto each stage. Haven't you, darling? How are you feeling? I'm a bit uncomfortable now. I'm all ready to go, but the last three or four days, I don't know if it's my ovaries or whatever it is, but I'm guessing so, because they're what's expanding, have been really sitting on my bladder. All through the night, you need to go for a wee, like, probably pregnant women experience. But then I feel like because I've had the trigger shot now and they're ready to come out, I don't know whether they're further down or they're bigger or they're like released or something, but today I would say it's a bit breathtaking. 
don't think I've mentioned this yet, but the last two scans that I've had, I've had to like contract my vagina because I was literally this close to weeing on my doctor's hand. It happened, love, thank you, Like, understand. the whole time I'm not even really listening to what he's saying because I'm like, I'm gonna wee on you in a minute. And now I've got the fear of obviously, I'm going under, my legs are gonna be in stirrups, they're gonna see everything which she already has. And then, what if I... Go shut in. Because what if I wee? What if I do like a really big fart <laughs> because I can't stop farting either? My stomach's just full of, yeah. as you know. All dignity goes out the window when you have a kid. I ain't got a kid though. <laughs> but it's your dignity, not mine. I know. <laughs> I'm not anxious about the actual process. I'm not anxious about the quality of my eggs. But I'm nervous about weeing on my doctor, letting off a big fart, accidentally being awake or remembering some of it or feeling it. If you've got a lot of eggs and you're what they call overstimulating, it's called OHSS. Quite a lot of people experience that, which I have, which is why I'm not doing a fresh transfer, which is why I'm like freezing my embryos and eggs and then having the transfer mid-July. You get that when you're at about 20 eggs. We're at 21, but that's only as far as the doctor can see. A lot of women have the retrieval and the doctor goes, yeah, we've got 35 because you can't see them, see all. them all. Sometimes it's because they're so small that you can not even pick them up. But you can actually get quite poor if you've been overstimulating. So that's also something. It's one of them risks that you take, isn't it? Let's find out. See you in a minute. Hola, buenos dias. I'm in pain today. I haven't been in pain the whole time, but it's like they know that they're coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you. Painful. Okay, so guys, basically we've had a couple of tests. Taylor's was negative and my test was positive. Right before the retrieval. I'd literally just said, oh, I had a bit of hay fever. Just nose running. Apart from that, everything's absolutely normal. That's come back and now the doctor is on his way in. Taylor's going to still have the egg retrieval and basically I can't do my test today. He's going to come in and tell us what the next step is. Not me able to film and it's going to delay it by a week. A little bit of sad news to so keep you posted. In this case we have to wait until your test is negative. That means in one week we have to do another test. I'll go down now to the room yeah. then. Bid you farewell. Lovely. We shouldn't really be hugging. <laughs> well, I mean we live together. I'm really sad that you can't come in. Yeah, I feel really sad. You're gutted. Hello guys, okay so I'm waiting at home, it's been about an hour, I'm waiting to hear back from Taylor, all the doctors, hopefully everything has gone well. I guess we'll start to find out what sort of great eggs we've got and things like that, so it's just a little bit annoying obviously that I'm not in there with Tay, it's just sort of delaying the process a bit further. I had hay fever literally only probably today and yesterday. Which I get quite bad anyway. It obviously isn't hay fever, so I should hear back in the next 10, 15 or so. Okay guys, so Taylor's just got back. Taylor's just Sasha came picked her up. Feeling really out of it right now. Wasn't a very nice experience at all. One, being on your own. Two, obviously not speaking the language, which is my own problem. Not really understanding what's going on, which is obviously really different to when you're in the UK and you're having something done. Because I was like, oh, I don't even get to speak. And then I had to walk from my bed in my room into the theatre room. There was a few people in there. And then I had to obviously go right to the end, put my legs in stirrups. So everything was full on out. Lights went off and then feel the sedation kicking in. For the whole scary? I'm, I'm never scared of general anaesthetic, I actually can't enjoy it. But, because I knew it was sedation, I was a bit panicking, thinking, oh, what if I'm not really enough asleep? I even said to the nurse, I think I need to reweigh myself because I'm much heavier from all the bloat and everything. And I want to make sure that you give me enough so I'm actually asleep. And she went, oh, no problem. I don't think she understood what I was saying. So then I was panicking a bit. Then I came out, back into my room and kept trying to like wake up. But I was having all of these really weird dreams. Johnny Depp was in my dream and I was helping him. Just really weird stuff most bizarre feeling I've ever felt and then I'd like open my eyes a bit and I'd like hear the doctors and then I'd close my eyes a bit and trying to get out of it for so long and it was just really weird vibes. I mean, when I got put to sleep and I kept on thinking I was at a party with Donald Trump or something. And so it was just a bit weird and then I felt really emotional because I was obviously on my own. I had to have some painkillers because I'm in a lot of pain even now. Where's kicking the pain? In my stomach. Does it feel like lighter or anything? No. 
He said it will though. It's then I went fun. into his office, but I was like, obviously, I'm completely out of it. This is not a normal conversation to have at this time, like. So I was trying to listen and I was looking at him and I was thinking, oh my God, any minute now I'm just gonna burst into tears because I'm just not feeling right. Yeah, and then he said, it went really well. You have many eggs, many, many. And I was like, more than 21. Oh yeah, more than 25. I said, oh wow, what's the next step? He said, we're gonna freeze all of it. Oh, that's my food, can you go and get it? I don't know what I ordered. She ordered some snacks and she was out of it. When I was speaking to Dr. Benito, he did say, obviously, if you're not testing positive, uh, negative in two weeks, then we have to wait for a whole new cycle. Did he? Mm. And then he said, basically, I should start my period on the 25th, 26th, about a week away. And then you have to start taking tablets to not to stimulate your ovaries. We don't do anything with the ovaries now, but to get the uterus ready, to thicken the lining basically get my uterus ready for an embryo. It what? was bizarre how quickly they got me out of that bed. I was f***ing out of it. I'm still out of it. And they just got me out of bed and was like, right, get changed. And I was like, I'm staying there for 12 <laughs> hours. I do. That's it. Get that down you then. Well done, eh? How do you stuff? No, I don't like doing it without you. What were your results? A, B, C's? No, it said call you in about an hour. And I'll let you know which ones are good quality. I'll get a pen and paper ready to get the scores marked down. Okay, so I'm going to give Joanna a call to see where we're at. Hello, Joanna, how are you? How did it all go? As far as I know, all went well. I will ask the doctor now how many eggs were frozen. Fantastic. I will call you back. Speak Thank soon. You. We're going to find out how many eggs were frozen, which is really exciting. Tay's asleep, she obviously needs to recover. So I'll probably tell her when she wakes up naturally, but I can't wait, I need to know how many eggs were frozen. Okay, here we go. Hello there. Hi, how are you? We had 23, full maturity 15. So we have frozen 15. It's a very, very good number, okay? Perfect. Let me know when she starts the period, okay? I will do. Thank okay. you very much. There was 23 eggs in total, 15 are at maturity. I'm assuming that the 15 that got frozen were all levels between A and C or A and D. My understanding is he's gonna unfreeze some of them in a week's time now, and then he will unfreeze them. I'll go in, do my deed. He'll then put the sperm in with these eggs, grow them, re-implant them into Tay. And then we've got a backup of some frozen eggs the next year. It's all going well. I'll inform my family and Tay's family of the 15 eggs, which he says is great. And I will speak to you soon. Hello guys, so we've teamed up with Natural Cycles for this video. This is a company and a product that we absolutely love. Yeah. So basically you have a thermometer and the app and Taylor would take the thermometer reading every single morning, enter it into the app. She will also answer a couple of questions mm -hmm. such as has she had spotting, cramps, how How's she feeling? And then the algorithm will do its thing and it will tell her or anyone using the app whether you're having a fertile or non-fertile day. Which on the app is referred to as green and a red day. Green and a red day. Now yeah. obviously we are using this to conceive. So we are looking for the fertile day. Then we know that we can get at do it. The do the thing. However, there is so many people that can use this as a natural non-hormonal yeah. contraception an yeah. alternative where obviously you could use it and if it's a fertile day then you just don't have <laughs> you know not to do it <laughs> on that day yeah exactly so it's absolutely fantastic yeah and obviously we can't use it at the moment because we're doing ivf and the reason we can't do that is because the hormones that i'm taking during my ivf process would oh, alter the perfect. reading you can use it with iui but you can't use it with ivf but we've worked with them for i think three or four months now and we're really really happy yeah with and how the it works. feedback it's been incredible. It's in, insane. On both sides back, yeah, as both well. Sides. For contraceptive and also for people trying to conceive. I've seen so many success stories. So although we are doing IVF now and we can't use it, we'll I, use it as a natural contraceptive, won't we? Yeah. And how um, 
like well, how much more accurate is it compared to the ovulation sticks that you used to do each month? Well, it's insane. The, the because... first thing is, is that you don't really need to use as many ovulation sticks because it will tell you when your green day is. You can take a test and you see it. Like, so And the longer you use it, the more accurate it gets going to get. You're going to learn more about your body. Yeah. And even if you're not ready to conceive now, you can use the app as a contraception. And, and then, then when you switch... Switch anyway. Yeah, and you get a graph. You get like a graph of, of your temperature and everything is really interesting to look at. So, 100% so, recommend it. Yeah. Adios! Bye.